All right, let's try this again. This is my uh, third attempt or fourth attempt. I've lost count. Uh, anyways, I keep getting a message almost immediately saying that I'm not broadcasting, which isn't cool, man. Not cool at all. But get a few things going here. And while I do that, we're going to listen to some Tunda Toddler. All right. And I'm going to get the chat window set up so I can see what y'all have to say to me. If there's anybody out there. All right, chat is open. So yeah, today we are working on a portrait of Michael Brooks as my warm-up. Um, if you're not familiar, he is the host of The Michael Brooks Show. He's a producer on The Majority Report and fill-in host. And um, I would argue he's perhaps my favorite podcast. Oh, I gotta turn this back on. But, uh, never listened to the Michael Brooks show before. He, um, it is a weird mix of, um, comedy sketches, uh, looks at, um, uh, American politics, uh, but also, you know, looks at international politics, too. So they have discussions about, you know, uh, what's going on in the Middle East, uh, what's going on in Brazil. You know, really important conversations, kind of placing things in a, a global context, creating global solidarity, uh, you know, with the show. And plus has impersonations that uh, of characters that are absolutely hilarious and completely wrong, like uh, Right Wing Mandela. Uh... What is that? Um, uh, Kofifi Anon. Um, Nation of Islam Obama. But uh, he's been on break over the holidays, and one of the uh, jokes on the show is after um, Alex Jones got deplatformed, they feature Alex Jones in uh, one of the song segments of uh, the shout out, and um, you know joked around like, "Hey, Alex Jones fans, if you need your Alex Jones fix, come watch my show." Like, there's your Alex Jones fix. 
So, um, any Brooksies out there? Watching. This, in a way, is for you to get your fill. While, um, he's on his little Christmas break. Or a holiday break. I don't know what he celebrates. I think he's... So, let's see here. I, uh, this weekend I met a really interesting uh, Russian comic book artist online. And he put the idea in my head about going to, uh... What is it? Com, uh, Comitia, I think is how you say it. I don't have this in front of me because ah, I'm drawn. Um, which sounds like a fun thing to do. They have like a um, uh, uh, a program to allow international artists to come in and, and they help pay for that and give you space and translators and, and all that stuff. And it sounds like a blast. Um... Uh, I told him, like, one of my dreams is to always go to that uh, big festival in Paris as a guest. And he's like, come to Russia! And I'm like, oh, I've never been to Russia. Um, so I start, like, looking into it and stuff. And, uh... Uh, see, Kim and I were chatting. I told him, I'm like, dude, let's go to Russia. And I, and I showed him, you know, told him a little bit about the uh, the thing, and he just starts laughing, going, I can just imagine us getting arrested as American spies with a stack of, you know, holding a stack of comics. Because I would like to see about trying to bring some Soviet-era comics to the States. That actually sounds like a really fascinating thing to do. I mean, you know... This is, like, 14 steps later, but I'm quite certain I could find a publisher. For, like, uh, you know, translating some Soviet-era comics for American comic fans. I think that'd just be interesting in general. I know I, for one, would like to read some Soviet-era comics. Apparently, my, my first instinct was to go for, like, Lenin-era comics. But I don't think that works out. I don't think comics were even a thing when Lenin was in power.
So anyway, so C. Kim said, you know, I can just see us getting arrested for, um, uh, with a stack of comics, uh, for being, a uh, being an American spies. And, and I go, hey, I've only been arrested once for my, co- uh, work in comics. And he's like, I'd like to hear that story. So, pretty much, uh, when I was, um, what was I doing? Uh, when I was, uh, I, I did a, worked on a graphic novel called APB, Artists Against Police Brutality. And, um, I had a, uh, we did a show at my local comic shop. And I was hanging up posters for it. I didn't think anything of it. I mean, you know, people hang posters for shows all the time. Well, apparently, this caught the attention of the police department. And they had a problem with artists standing up for police brutality, uh, standing up against police brutality. Happy New Year, son of a red shirt. Good to see you here. Let's see here. So yeah, I was uh, crossing the lawn to get to the library, and uh, uh, start hearing somebody shouting. Now I'm deaf in one ear. Most people don't realize this, um, but I can't tell where sound comes from. So I'm kind of looking around and, and trying to see who's like trying to yell. Because a lot of times there's like people who are lost, and if I'm walking around, they'll they'll stop and ask me for directions. Um, it happens enough, and I'm all about helping. You know, people find where they're going and whatnot. Guess I'm a trustworthy guy. I got a I got a trusting face or something. So I'm looking around, and I see this cop, and he kind of hops out. And, um, you know, starts asking me questions. And the next thing I know, there's another cop behind me. I don't know where he came from. He just all of a sudden appeared. It actually startled me. Um, and they're both, like, asking me questions. And unfortunately, um, I've never been confronted quite like this before. So I got a little confused. Um, ended up having a traffic issue that never gotten taken care of. Um... And they arrest me for that. But they were, you know, singled me out because I was putting up the uh, APB posters. And this is like right before we're having the show. A bit of a scare tactic on their part. Now, fortunately, um, you know, because I'm white and I live in a you know, uh, a small town, I wasn't in, you know, jail long, but, uh, it was a little frightening. I kept getting flashes to all the videos I watch on, like, the news channels of, like, you know, people in jail cells getting beaten by cops because they did something that they didn't like. I was very worried. Uh, I think the worst thing that happened while I was in jail, one of the police officers complimented me on my t-shirt, because I was wearing a Goonies t-shirt. So, that's how I got arrested for doing comp. Not a particularly exciting story, but there it is. All right, I guess son of a red shirt's popping out, but thank you for stopping by. I'll probably find a more entertaining story to tell.
All right, I'm gonna pop over to Twitter. You're gonna give me any hot takes on anything? Cause I know, I know y'all just love my hot take. Wish I know where my glasses were. <laughs> See, your Mitt Romney's still trending. Lovely. Yeah, what about your character, Mitt Romney? He he wrote a op-ed on uh, Trump's uh, character, and quite frankly, you know, I have questions about Mitt Romney's character. I think he's the reason why uh, we don't have uh, Toys R Us anymore. Jasmine Barnes. Wait, is she the, uh... Okay, Jasmine Barnes was shot by, uh... Yeah, that's right. This some white guy drove up to this little um, uh, to 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 this car with a little black girl in it, and they they shot her, which is absolutely terrible. Um, looks like a lot's going on with it. I have to take a look at that later. Let's see here. Harry Reid is trending. Yeah. Okay, he did an interview, whatever. I mean, I got my issues with Harry Reid, but he was actually a good leader in the, uh, in the House. I think he was a better whip than he was leader, but the he had he was he was good about all that stuff. He was mercenary when he needed to be. Probably because he's an Xboxer with mob ties, but you know. I wish Schumer was as mercenary as uh, Harry Reid was. Okay, Paul Whelan is... An American arrested by Putin. Interesting. Uh, I don't know anything about this story. No hot takes here. Nikki Haley's trending. Oh, Nikki Haley has a new Twitter profile. Why is this news? 
Unless it has something to do with her new job. Why don't you just say that, article? Or headline? Oh, she congratulated a, the fascist president of Brazil. That's why she's trending. Because from my understanding, and I, I'm not going to pretend I am an expert on Brazil or anything like that, uh, I'm just basically repeating what Michael Brooks said. But, uh, I mean, the only reason why he is president is because of a um, uh, combination of how the media worked against, you know, democratically uh, people like uh, Lula and Dilma. To put a neo-fascist in power. And there were things to rightfully criticize Dilma for. Um, and and uh, uh, Lula. But I think, you know, no, no, no politician is above criticism. Apparently Mitt Romney's niece thinks that Mitt Romney's too mean to Trump. Sounds like he has just a wonderful family. Well, they're really nice people, too. He's too mean to Trump. Oh, what a snowflake. Let's see here. Situation room is trending. Okay, he's having a situation room summit right now about the shutdown. That's a good thing. Hopefully he can stop having a temper tantrum. What I don't understand is how a party that controls you know, all three branches of government is so ineffective to keep the, the government open.
Let's see here. Anything else trending that looks interesting? Patriot Act is trending. Oh yeah, uh, some comedian or somebody I'm not I'm not familiar with uh, got their show on Netflix pulled, talking about uh, how Saudi Arabia was involved with that uh, journalist's assassination at the um, embassy. Which is why, like Michael Brooks always says, I don't trust Silicon Valley anybody to, um, you know, adjudicate, you know, what is and isn't okay speech. Let's see here. Wednesday Wisdom's trending. Whatever, that's always trending on Wednesdays. Alright. Drawn lines. Looks like my cat's coming in. I hope she'll be speaking. Sometimes she does speak a lot. It has yet to really do that during the live broadcast. At least not whenever, uh... Well, hello. It's like rubbing up against my arm right now while I'm drawing. Like, why aren't you petting me, Daddy? This is Angel Princess. Angel Princess, care to say Hello. This cat just likes to sit next to me and sleep. Let's see here. Oh, well, that's not looking too bad. You get the shadows a little darker in some spots, but that's okay.
if any Michael Brooks fans are actually have watched this far into this, let me know what to think. Let me know if I should start doing like, you know, my impression of Michael Brooks or something. I don't know. I don't think I really have a impression of Michael Brooks. I do accents. I don't really do impersonations. Except for, um, the only celebrity I actually impersonate is, uh, Ozzy Osbourne. I used to work from a guy from, uh, with, uh, blah, blah, blah. I used to work with a guy from Birmingham, so he had a Birmingham accent. So I kind of learned the uh, the nuance of the Birmingham, uh, Birmingham accent and uh, just start mumbling whatever I say, and that's my Ozzy Osbourne impersonation. Let's see here, Birmingham, Birmingham, off from Birmingham, right, Birmingham. Warm it up a little bit there. Be like, um, right? Bending him, banding him, banding him. Sorry, I gotta get the banding him coming out of the right part of my, my voice here before I start doing all these banding him. You know, like, oi, I'm all the old one. I was going to move. So, all from bending him. It was a terrible Ozzy Osbourne, wasn't it? I'd be like, woke Ozzy Osbourne. Wolf pigs. Oh man, I'm going to like a Ringo impersonation. I need to wake up more before I try doing Ozzy Osbourne. This is the problem with me just kind of riffing. I'll end up just impersonating Ringo Starr for no reason. Trying to pretend like I'm Ozzy Osbourne. And not come up with something as brilliant as uh, Angry Fish Jesus. All right. I'm done already. It's like I just got started. Not really.
I think that looks pretty good. All right, y'all. Um. Hey, man. Um, uh, man. Hey, hey, people. Hey, folks. Hey. I need a. I need to call y'all. I posted a poll. Um. I had two votes on the poll uh, on Twitter for uh, what to call y'all. One vote for none of the above and, uh, or no, something else. Uh, and, and one vote for the damned. Um, which, which I put the damned as a joke. I wasn't expecting to get a vote. So, um, yeah. Alright, y'all. Um, I guess, I guess this is gonna be, I've, uh, Got a lot of work I gotta get done. I got a, I got a page I need to finish today for that uh, proposal. I am like so close. I gotta get that page done and do a bunch of writing. Uh, and perhaps one cover if I, I I gotta yeah the cover. I got a cover I gotta get done. So so like I'm nearly there. Hopefully we should be. Uh, getting that out soon. Uh, my goal is by the end of the week, but uh, we shall see probably more likely next week. But, you know, I also have goals. Goals are good, man. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and uh, I hope everybody's having a great new year. I hope everybody was safe and had a good new year celebration. I didn't do anything. I was drawing. Um... But that's okay. And, uh...